Hi guys, so you probably are reading this title right now. I think it's up here, down there. It's somewhere around here that implies that my characters will not be shooting at each, at each other anymore. Well, I shouldn't say at each other, but maybe using guns as often. Now, if you are not familiar with my writing, I guess that probably is a huge clue as to what kind of writing I do. I write a lot of, I guess, crime fiction, you know, assuming crime fiction is about the criminals. <laughs> I think most crime fiction is not about the criminals. Yeah, I know, right? Um, apparently most crime fiction is about the good guy getting the bad guy and the bad guy being the criminal and all that stuff. Mine's kind of not really like that. My books are from the criminal perspective. They don't really get caught. Um, totally different thing. Anyway, but it's becoming more popular, that whole anti-hero thing, but I'm getting way off track. So I'm implying in this title that they will not be using guns anymore. And that's not to say, I shouldn't say anymore, as often, as often. They still will be using guns in my books, and my characters are not going to become any less of savages. It's just, I'm trying to get away from it. We hear so much about guns, we see so much on television with guns, guns, guns. You know, um, I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of it. And not only am I sick of it, I also feel like, you know, from a more dramatic perspective, if you're trying to shock somebody in a book or movie, hauling out a gun is not going to do it because we are so fucking desensitized. We see someone haul out a gun in TV, and unless it's like a little old lady you wouldn't expect to have a gun, or like a 10-year-old or something, we're not really shocked because we see it so much. And the same with books. If a character has a gun, it's like, you know, it's like saying, she has a compact in her purse, and decide if there's a gun. You know, like, it's like, it's so, again, we're so desensitized. It's, it's unbelievable. You see television, video games, whatever, people are shooting each other up, and you're like, you know, you don't even blink. So that's horrifying in itself. However, I think when I'm writing, I try to have my characters attack people in sort of different ways. It may not be physical. It may not be hurting them. It may not be killing them, but it might be too, you know, I'm not going to lie. Um, there is a body count with most of my books. <laughs> if you don't read them already, there's a spoiler alert. Also, I think um, sometimes it's if a character has an axe to grind, and you can take that literally because there might be an axe involved. Um, there's different ways to go about it. You know, I've talked a lot about people who have suicides and accidental deaths that weren't really um i had characters attack each other with other weapons besides guns you know i just feel like maybe we're overdoing the whole gun thing i think that's probably make i don't know if that's making the problem worse that you know we're seeing all the stuff in the news I think it just makes people more comfortable with them and, and the concept, sorry, I, my face was itchy, um, the concept of them and, and I don't know, that in itself is kind of the most disturbing thing of all. Now, that aside, again, let's get back to my books. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to try to not completely eliminate guns in my books they will always be there as far as well as long as I'm writing this series it is crime you know these criminals are not gonna not have guns I'm not gonna be like yeah we don't need these anymore they're always gonna have them but I'm gonna try to have them less exposure to them in my books I try to talk about them less and I think maybe that's something I don't want to say other writers should do it because I am not you know anybody to say anything However, I just think that it might be good to kind of get away from that. And that's, again, not to say you have to take away from the intensity of your books and have changed. You know, I'm not writing Christian books by any means, and I'm not suggesting anybody does or doesn't, you know, whatever you want to do. But I think sometimes you kind of have to look at the world and think, okay, you know, to a degree, I want to show what's really going on out there, but at the same time, do I want to do what is being repeated again and again and again? 
I challenge you to not turn on a dr dramatic program of some kind, whether it be, you know, a detective show, a doctor show. It doesn't matter. If you get through a season and don't see a gun, you know, unless you're watching something like, yeah, I'm not even going to name a show, like some little half-hour show that's a comedy. You know, even the family guy has guns. I mean, come on, it's a cartoon. But it's Stewie, it's Stewie. It's, you know, it's okay. It's cool and it's Stewie. Anyway, I'm getting off track. So, is there anything you think there should be less of in books? Now, I'm not saying like a boycott or I'm not saying like they should be, you know, I'm not trying to demonize anyone or any authors or what they do. I just mean, is do you think that creatively that we can probably do better, but still have the same results? So maybe go about doing things just a little bit differently. What do you think? Now, if you want, you can like this video, and that would be so appreciated. I never think to ask. I'm getting better at it, though. Like, subscribe. There's a bell. You hit the bell. You get the video. You know, all that good stuff. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.